So I'm sure a lot of Rovers fans have got boxes like this full of programs and whatnot. Um, but when I were looking through them the other day, um, I thought since we're stuck in the house, let's uh, let's get creative, see if we can do something with them. Go through all these boxes and, and create some like flat lay photos of all the old programs and memorabilia and things like that. Um, we'll see what happens, but I'll probably just end up getting distracted with all the old uh, with all the old programs and all the old memories. So we sorted all the programs and tickets and press passes out. Um, so we've got home programs, away programs, press passes and tickets but I'm sure some of them are missing because they haven't got a single one 607 season and that one they're from the 80s I haven't even born them so I don't know how I've got them what's that 83 I've kind of commandeered the dining room table to do this made it into a little makeshift studio with the lights and whatnot so these are some of the earliest tickets I've got Tranmere Rovers 2004. Weirdly, I remember that was a nil-nil. Jan actually asked us onto the pitch, signed our shirt, and then the shirt got washed, um, and then I tried to go over it in permanent marker. Um, it didn't work, as you can see. Carling Cup run, Arsenal game. I actually missed Greeny's goal that game. So I went to the toilet expecting penalties. I think for that season we must have had two season ticket booklets, Bellevue and Keepmo. Although it says Community Stadium. That name didn't stick, did it? At the Keepmo, I actually sat in the West Stand. The West Stand beat Barmy Army. I used to bang on the back of the wall, make it sound like a drum. This is when I started working for the club. I like it how I'm referred to as Dazza. 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 And it stuck. That's where that came from. Two thousand and eight playoff final, Rovers leads. Did anyone else feel really nervous that game? more than usual. Also, found this Newcastle away. Anyone remember Martin Wood's penalty? So actually that's the Southampton programme, but I think it was the game after Billy scored that goal. Um, what an emotional night that was as well. April 2013. We all know about this game. Colchester away. Uh, Oh, filming that game on the gantry, and the gantry's on the roof, um, and the only way you could get to it is up the fire escape, um, and I got locked in the fire escape. 16-17 <laughs> season, 10-year anniversary of the Keepo, the Palace programme from uh, from last year. Um, it's actually the game where we got to go behind the scenes at the BBC, um, and I did a full video of that on my channel, which is well worth uh, having a look. This is the Rotherham programme. Uh, where there was that late drama. Uh, we love getting one over on Rotherham, don't we? And this is the latest program that I've saved. Uh, this is Rochdale at home in February uh, this year. Um, that was my last home game before the lockdown. Um, so yeah, that brings us that brings us up to date, really. I'll be posting the best of the photos on my Instagram. Uh, I'm at Rovers Dazza if you want to follow me on there. Um, and as always, uh, give this video a massive thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe to the channel. And if you do, I shall uh, see you in the next one.